Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a quick skincare routine that I'm doing while I'm on Accutane, AKA isotretinoin. It is pretty, pretty stripped down. I keep the same routine twice a day and I don't have a lot of, just a lot of products, it's pretty simple. And in case you're not too familiar with both Accutane and where I'm at with it right now, um, just take a look at the video I put up last for my Accutane journey. I did have my three month checkup, but nothing different came up too much except for my side effects, which I'm gonna make a separate video on to talk about it with you guys. So for now, let's get started. First, what I do every morning is I get up and I wash my face with the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser uh, Wash. So it looks like this. And it just comes with a really convenient pump where you can just, I just do one pump. I, I wet my face first and then I just, it doesn't lather or anything. And then I just put it all over really quick, especially because in the morning you're, you don't have makeup because you washed your face last night. And the only thing you're really taking off is the like sweat or like the kind of from your face touching your pillow and all that. So I do it really quickly and then I pat my face dry and then, oh, I forgot one thing, but I had run out. I get the Heritage Store Rose Water Spray, not the Rose Water and Glycerin one, just the regular Rose Water. And then I spray that right after because, and you can kind of see because I'm warm. I'm pretty hot right now. This is a mix of Vaseline and my sunscreen, by the way. My skin's not oily anymore. But for the, I mean, not for the, after the, after the face wash, my cheeks and my nose get red and the rose water kind of calms down the redness. So this is a big one. I also use it at night. La Roche-Posay. La Roche. I don't know how you say it or pronounce it. And then afterwards, I go in with my Holy Grail, which is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Not the moisturizing lotion, but the moisturizing cream. Can you see it? So this is just the tub. It's the 16 ounce one. I picked it up at the pharmacy where I get my Accutane refills. That's next door to my dermatologist. And it was actually cheaper. I think it was 13 compared to, I think at Walgreens and CVS. It's like maybe 18? I don't remember. It was a little bit cheaper though, so I picked it up there. And before I had done it with the other one, if you want the pump because you don't want to like scoop your hands in it, they do sell it with the pump at, at the stores for I think it's 18 or $20. So if you want the pump, you can do that. But for me, I'm willing to save the money by just picking it out. And I'm almost, I'm like a, I have like a quarter left of it. It's just like that. It smells good. It doesn't smell like much. It smells like a regular, not like a super strong, I almost want to say like grandma lotion kind of thing, but it just smells really simple, like it's ingredients. And then for my sunscreen, I don't really wear makeup. I only wear, if I feel like a concealer, like on my, on my bits of pimples that are, that are there. My hair is a mess, but anyway, um, for makeup, I don't wear it during work. So five, no, yeah, five days out of the week, maybe on Saturday, if I have plans, maybe I wear it. So 85, 90% of the time, I don't wear anything. And right after I put on my CeraVe moisturizing cream, I use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in the... 100% mineral matte screen. Well, that's the only type. Not It's not just only that one. Um, the Smooth and Poreless 100% mineral matte screen. Oh, this isn't the Unseen Sunscreen. Never mind. Sorry, guys. It's the Smooth and Poreless 100% mineral matte screen. And it's SPF 40. So I did have the Unseen Sun... Oop, my lighting. I did have the Unseen... Do you see my dog, by the way? He's very cuddled. I did have the unseen sunscreen, and I do have what's left of it in my area where I have like my sports sunscreen, like the spray on for if I'm going out for like a run or something, which I haven't done in like 10 months. But it just, it was really shiny. It, this one kind of leaves a bit of a sheer 
on my skin and I think it's because my skin's not absorbing it or anything but for the unseen sunscreen it was just too much so it, I looked oilier and this was before Accutane I looked oilier than usual so that was a no I'm st I'm not gonna get this one again I don't think just because of the price and I well it's how much is it I forgot now it's still expensive I don't remember how much it was. If I didn't have my phone recording, I would look it up. But I want to try the La Roche Posay sunscreens because they're so they're so well regarded. But I was gonna say I'm not gonna get this one again because it's pricey. But those are gonna be pricey too. But I think my friend who had been on Accutane before me and got off of it when I was starting used theirs, and her skin always looked good during the whole duration she was in it. And it didn't look like the sunscreen made her skin shiny or anything. But Actually, this isn't a... I haven't put Vaseline on. I only put it on my lips. I mean, not Vaseline, Aquifer. So, yeah, I'm just hot. I guess because of the dose... There was a dosage change, which I'm going to talk about more in my update video. Um, due to the side effect that I was having, which from the first video you'll know is severe dry eyes. So, this is the final step. And that's it. Then, come nighttime, I go... Again, rinse my face. Do the La Roche Posay, dry my face, use the Heritage Store Pink, it's a pink bottle, it's really popular on skincare like top shelfies on Instagram and stuff. I spray my face really quickly with that, put a good amount of the CeraVe. For the eye cream, I use the Kiehl's Avocado one. I don't use it all the time, I didn't use it for like the whole two weeks I was, anti I was on antibiotics for my eyes, but usually I do use the Kiehl's one. And then, for my, I don't know why in my head, I think that it kind of helps maybe with this, like, the redness, because, like, these aren't pimples anymore, they're just, like, the scarring almost after, after the fact. I put a little bit of Aquaphor, the healing ointment. Can you see it? It's focusing. There we go. It's the healing ointment one. I've had this for over a year. And I still have quite a bit left. It's essentially like petroleum, petroleum jelly or Vaseline. So yeah, I tend to put that like on these. I guess I feel like it helps. I hope it does. Because it does say it's for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. So it's kind of irritated, sort of. I'm not a dermatologist, guys. Anyway, and then I put it on like, because when I talk, I do, I do this a lot. Can you see? That. you see that I have like an 11 and I'm not old I know I'm not getting like crazy wrinkles or anything I actually can't do like the you know how people when they raise theirs and they get the forehead lines here so this is my forehead line so I put that there and then I put it here like with my smile lines yeah I don't know I guess I feel like it adds like extra protection and then this is a backup for my lips which I actually need to put some on now this is a backup for my lips because it does help keep my lips from being too chapped. But um, my first, my fir the first thing I go for when I have chapped lips, which if you've been on Accutane or you know anything about it is constantly, is this guy. So this is lanolin. And this is what breastfeeding mothers use for dry or cracked nipples. So this is actually supposed to help for that and it's safe for the mom and the baby. But if you're on Accutane, and I saw this through another YouTuber, oh, I forgot her name, I loved her videos on the Accutane. She's really popular, I think she's one of the first things that comes up when you're looking for like Accutane journeys and updates. She's awesome. But her and my friend, the, the friend who had been on it, both had recommended this to me. So I had the little aquifer mini tub and I wanted to try it out so my friend had some left over I tried it out and I loved it so I ended up buying the big one and it's just the regular like lanolin I got it at I believe CVS and it wasn't a lot of money so yeah I just carried it everywhere if it's cold though it does get cold and if it's hot it does become more like goopy so this is how it looks I don't know if you could see there, like the, I 
Uh, it looks like the aquifer, basically. It doesn't smell like, none of this smells like anything really, not even like that unscented smell. So it's all really pretty simple. And then my backup for the CeraVe, when after I wash my hands in our bathroom and I don't wanna like take this out and put on the thicker cream, I use this for my hands, which is the CVS kind of drugstore dupe of the CeraVe moisturizing lotion, which is not as, um, the lighting messed up again, which is not as hydrating as the moisturizing cream. So there is a difference there. I'm actually pretty much out of it. I don't have much left if at all. So I just use this once I get out of washing my hands for whatever reason. Or even if I don't wash my hands, I just go in there and I grab it really quick. And yeah, that's about it. It's a total of, including the backup, six different products. That's really all I use on my skin for the past almost three and a half months. And it's been pretty good. I've enjoyed the routine. It's the lotion and when I buy it, the sunscreen are probably the priciest items. But because it lasts so long, it's kind of worth it. It's better, I guess, than how much money, it's embarrassing how much money I probably spent on skincare products over the past couple of years. Just because, and I still spend money because of the Accutane and because of the doctor's appointments every month. But for, yeah, looking back, this is probably going to be more sustainable in the long run. Yeah, that's about it. I need to find a body sunscreen because I don't know if you could see it well on here, but I already have a watch tan from like when I drive in the car or if I'm walking to get lunch and I'm in the sun. And it's May, the beginning of May. So the summer is coming. I need to find something that doesn't, sm I don't mind the smell too much, but I guess the greasiness of sunscreen, I need to find a different alternative for sure but I'll keep you guys posted on that. So that's about it. I wanna break up this and my Accutane update into two different videos, just so this isn't like 45 minutes long and that'd be crazy to expect, I guess, me talking about that for like 45 minutes straight and people to watch it through, for now at least. Maybe as things get more interesting or I come up with different ideas, then there'll be 45 minute long videos. I have a trip booked in October that I'm probably gonna vlog, which will be really exciting because I've never vlogged before. And that'd be super fun to document it like that. I wish I would've vlogged my past trips. I don't travel a lot, but that would've been fun. And by then my skin's gonna be a whole different story, so let's see how that works. I'm going to Arizona, which is super sunny, so that'll be fun. And yeah, that's gonna be good. It's, it's still a while away though, six months, but these past six months have gone by so fast. Like, I still remember Halloween last year, right? Anyway, I'm gonna go study a little, little with my doggie. He heard me. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. And yeah, that's about it. I could probably hold all of these in my hand. Ah, uh, no, it's slipping from the lotion. <laughs> Let me try this. Nope. Anyway, there's only six of the products. You can get them at CVS, Walgreens, except this, you can get at Sephora, or Dillard's, I think. Yeah, it's just, it's a really manageable routine. So, that's about it. I'm gonna go put this all away. And I'm going to continue on with my Accutane update and where I'm at with my eyes. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're watching. And please do give this a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel to support future videos like this one. Alright, we'll see you guys. Bye.